you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What is happening guys? My name is Alex. Awesome that you guys are watching to this new Sony Vegas tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to render out your video in 4K resolution. And for the people who don't know what 4K is, it's basically a, a resolution that is 4 times 1080p. So like Ultra HD. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to start off, we're going to click on this little icon right here that says Project Video Properties. I'm going to click that one then this window pops up and then what you want to do is just click on this drop down menu and we want to select 4k and if you want to render out your video in 4k uh, like 60 fps go to frame rate and just type in 60 point zero 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 that means 60 fps then you just want to click on apply and then the only thing you need to do is just drag your clip in so i dragged in the review as you guys can see and then the only thing you need to do is just select everything you want to render out as you can see right there file render as and you want to go to windows media video click that one then you want to go to 8 mbps hd 1080 30p video you want to click on customize you're going to go to video and you want to click on image size and you want to press custom and then you want to type in the resolution of 4k which is 4096 by 2304 click on ok and press render so that's how similar this guys it's just um, put in the resolution and 60 fps and render so that's it for this video guys if you find this video helpful f feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated if you want to see more of the Vegas tutorials feel free to subscribe down below every wednesday 1 p.m pst and 10 p.m cet on my channel so i want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week what is happening guys my name is alex awesome that you guys are watching through this new Sony Vegas tutorial it's wednesday so it means a new video for you guys and as you can see at the title i'm going to show you guys today um like how to add a crossfade between two clips like this cool transition so without further ado let's jump right into it okay so as you can see i have um two clips in my timeline as you can see right here in sony vegas and we're gonna just make a crossfade effect between those two so the only thing you need to do is you want to zoom in a little bit and then you want to take this clip and just drag it on top of it as you can see and as you can see we have those lines as you can see right here you know what the blue and the white that means that that is a crossfade if you want to have like a really long crossfade you can just look, do it like this and then you can see it's like this really long and if i play it back it's going to be it's going to take a while until it's you know until it made it to the you know a second clip so it looks like this it is going to get in really slow as you can see right there we're almost there and it made it to the new and basically why i see the lag uh, right here and i know guys it's weird why I have those stupid lags problem is I don't have any other uh, open programs running beside you know my recording program but it's ridiculous I have 16 gigs of RAM it still lags in fucking Vegas I have it in like 720p not like 4k I have the preview not on full I have maintain aspect ratio and the sample resample is checked and I still I have those fucking lags so basically I also have a video like how to reduce that in your preview video so what do you want to do is just go to the description check out the Sony Vegas tutorial playlist and then just find the video there I can just you know skip uh, through it so as you can see right here it's slowly starting to get fade in the other clip the shorter you know the shorter crossfades are usually a little bit easier so as you can see right there it's just going to the other clip and there we go so that's like a really cool transition if you put like a sound effect underneath it it's like it looks pretty cool so basically that's it for this video guys if you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CET if you feel to subscribe down below and if you find this video helpful feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated i want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week what is going on guys my name is alex awesome that you guys are watching to this new sony vegas tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make like the thug life effect you see online everywhere so without further ado i would say like let's get started okay so as you can see i have a clip as you can see of me vlogging in the woods and all that kind of stuff so we're just going to use a uh, snippet uh, yeah just a little uh, screenshot of this clip so let's say uh, i'm just vlogging right here and it plays and let's say I just want to have like a thug life when I look the next time when I look in the camera. So I'm going to f go to frames. That's when I look in the camera. So we want to just press S. We want to cut there. The next thing you want to do is you want to just drag this one away. And the next thing is you want to just drag like a little bit over the marker as you can see right here a little bit. Just click on S. Just press Control U so we can remove the audio separately. And this is going to be the screenshot of, you know, the, the still frame that we're going to put the Thug Life on. As you can see right now, it's like, pl it's still playing, as you can see. So we want to just, wanna, we want to have like a still frame of this. So I'm going to click, uh, right click on this clip, insert, remove, envelope. 
I'm going to click that one. Velocity. And then you can see this little green line. Go with your cursor on top of this little green icon. We just want to right click, set to, and then we're going to put zero. As you can see, the clip is now really just not it's just standing still as you can see, but it's going to it's be like, it's way too short. Just drag it out. Just like this until the frame is actually as long as you want it. So as you can see, I'm going to, this is how it looks right now. And this is the part where we're going to put the Thug Life stuff. So basically we have our still frame. The next thing we want to do is we want to have like this, this black and white effect that most people do. So it's really simple. You just go to video effects, black and white, drag it on top of the track, just close it out and just you have like this clip in the black and white as you can see. So the next thing we want to add is this little zoom event pan crop and now we're just going to use our keyframes. That means that we're going to zoom in on this little part wherever the hell you want it. We have to stand on the beginning of the of the track as you can see. So we want to use that. The next thing you want to do is just press a uh, space uh, where you want right here and then or right here for a really, really slow one. We're gonna, just going to zoom into the part where we want to zoom into like really slow. Let's just say uh, right at my face. And as you can see, this is like a keyframe. You can just replace it where we want because this is like really fast and this is going to be a really slow zoom. So let's see how it looks right now. See, that's just, you know, we're getting, we're getting close. So as you can see right now, we have the zoom and everything in black and white. The next thing we want to do is just drag in a, like a nice hip hop, you know, thug life track. I just found something online. I'm just going to drag it in right here, right now, as you can see, like this. You guys should be able to hear it. So this is like the thug life um, song. As you can hear, so we're going to use that one. So we have already our song and the zoom. Next thing we want to do is we just want to add the word Thug Life. So just go to Google, just go to Google Images, type in Thug Life PNG, pick one out, download it. We're going to just drag that in real quick. I want to check the monitor. Okay, there we go. Boom, that's like uh, PNG. So it's going to zoom. So we have to crop it, you know, a little. So we're just going to click on this little icon, the white one. Then we can just, then this window pops up and then we can just, you know, Mess around with the size and you know how it's yeah, you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to say. So like a little bit smaller and then just turn it a bit and then put it like this or something. I don't know, I have no idea. It's just you know, it's just an example. So let's see what we have right now. Rule the look. I think that's kind of close to the, you know, original um, Thug Life. So that's it for this video, guys. If you want to see more of these Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. CET, uh, feel free to subscribe down below and hit that like button if you find this video helpful. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday for new tutorials. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. What is happening guys? My name is Alex. Awesome that you guys are watching this new Sona Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, it's me as a new video for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys how to upload your video from Vegas straight to YouTube. I'm just going to show you guys how to upload your video directly to YouTube. But I have to mention though, this is not like, boom, you finished editing, hit upload. That's not, it has to render first, of course, because then you can upload the file to YouTube through Vegas. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So let's say, for example, let's say I'm just, I just got done editing of this little video. And basically what you want to do is you want to select everything of your video that you want to be rendered so when you select everything from start to finish then the most simple thing on earth just click to click on file we're going to just click on upload to youtube we just want to log in real quick so i'm just going to log in i'm just going to skip this part for just for the sake of you know keeping this video relatively short okay so the video title is um vegas to youtube test Description doesn't matter. We're not gonna publish this video, so that doesn't matter. So the thing you want to do is select your category. This is like how to and style. Boom. There we go. You want to fill in your tags, of course. Then you want to use this. Render quality is higher. That's like you want to have like ultimate HD. So just click on higher. Then you want to just choose your video to be public or private. The problem is that you can't upload this video as unlisted or scheduled. You have to choose one of the, one of the two, so public or private. Let's say I will use uh, private for the sake of this video. Basically, that you want you want to do is just fill in all the things. Of course, just say like tests. Of course. And the tags doesn't matter because this is like Vegas, how to, whatever. Okay, so now that I have logged in, I used I used my passwords. The only thing you want to do is click on upload. And as you can see, the video starts rendering, of course. And then once it's done rendering, it will automatically upload to YouTube. So you don't have to like wait until it's rendered. Get back to your PC and just drag the file into your upload page on YouTube. Let this render and just 
go away doing something else and the video will be on youtube automatically but i have to mention though you have to publish this video by yourself because we uploaded this as private so not scheduled so you want to come back later and publish the video manually on your own because you can't upload scheduled or unlisted whatsoever on vegas i don't know why that's done but it's just something we gotta live with it's like typical thing for sony right so basically that's it for this video guys video's rendering and after that it will upload so it's not like um like worth the time just showing you guys so you guys know what will happen so i well, thank you guys very much for watching this video i'm clicking on cancel because this was just a test a for the video so click on cancel so basically thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see more of this one in Vegas as well, feel free to subscribe down below for more videos. And if this video was helpful to you, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And as I always say, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for a new video on 12 p.m. PST. That's 9 p.m. CET. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to burn your... Uh, video on Vegas, your project onto a DVD or Blu-ray. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it because it's like the most simple thing on earth so it's not like you have to render it first and all kind of stuff it does for you automatically you need, just need to correct some settings that i'm gonna just uh give you a walkthrough to okay so a lot of people said to me like um alex like thank you for all those sony vegas tutorials because you say it in like two and a half minutes instead of other people that that like take like 10 minutes to show you guys something that can be done in like two and a half minutes so i want to thank you guys for all the comments and you know the continued support on all the sony vegas tutorials i love to uh, help you guys out because i always get like a shit ton of comments like how do you how do you can you make a tutorial about this can you make a tutorial about that all those videos are in the making they're not filmed yet i haven't even started on pre-production but at some point they will be live on my channel so make sure to stick around and subscribe down below if you want to see every um sony vegas tutorial every wednesday at 12 p.m pst that's 9 p.m cet for our european followers so enough rumbling around and let's get into the actual video okay so as you can see right here i have a video of, my, of mine a simple car tutorial and as you can see i just finished editing um i have everything i made the color grading i made the vignettes i made the intro and all that kind of stuff i made the outro and all that kind of okay so you know what i'm trying to say so the thing is um you don't have to actually like you know go to file and click render and you know render it in 4k or 1080p or whatever you just want to click on cancel we don't want to do all that select everything as always before always like if you render it of course so we select everything on the timeline next thing you want to do is you want to go to tools you want to click on burn disc and here you can uh choose um to burn it as a dvd or as a blu-ray so let's say we're just gonna you know burn a regular DVD so I'm click on this one this is the part where we need to uh, fix some settings those are actually uh, pretty important as you can see at the bottom you say it says video format got to be careful with um, if you see like 60i 50i the I stands for interlaced if your monitor is in the wrong setting and it doesn't support interlaced settings you will see all those uh, stripes across the video and it, it up the whole video so we don't want to mess around with like the interlaced settings you just want to click on mp2 720 by 480, 24p, 16.9, that's a normal resolution. At the end, it says NTSC. You want to click on that, and basically, if you have multiple drives on your um, PC, like a Blu ray player or a, just a regular um, burn drive that comes with your PC, um, you just want to click on the one you want to select. So you want to um, insert a, a writable empty disk of Blu ray or DVD into your computer. You just want to um, select the drive. I only have one. You just want to click that one. You can choose if the video is done burning. You can make the computer push out, you know, the, uh, the slot of the CD. So when you click on eject when done, I'm not going to do that because my computer actually can't. And you think like, oh, is your computer from fucking 1989? No, my PC is from 2014. So all that kind of fancy stuff is all is, is they got rid of that. So. so the next thing we're going to do is we click on burn speed. And basically you want to keep this on 24x because if you put it on 8, I don't know what's going to happen. I assume it's going to be like two times or three times slower than, than usual. As silly as it sounds and as silly as it looks, that's the only thing. And you want to click on OK. But I have not a CD or Blue Air disk in my computer right now because I'm not going gonna burn this video for the sake of this video so when i click on ok i get this error message i've press ok to continue put a writable disc in your drive or blu-ray disc and then press ok it's gonna start burning and you know you can see the progress and all the kind of stuff when it's done then you have burned your product or video onto your dvd or blu-ray disc so that's how simple it is guys if you want to see more of these sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 12 p.m pst that's noon for you guys at the pst zones and 9 p.m ct uh, feel free to subscribe down below
below for more videos. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the, in the comments down below so I can make a video about it, of course, because I want to like help you guys out and don't want to get like a thousand comments. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video, and I will see you guys next week. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.